This is Janetta Jones reporting live from Atlanta. Today I am here just outside the CDC talking with Sergeant Dellard who is guarding the quarantine remains of the latest victims in a recent string of bubonic plague outbreaks. Sergeant Dellard, can you give me any information on the current state of this rapidly spreading epidemic? Well, the total number of casualties at this point is still unknown, but the 2012 outbreak started in Oregon earlier this month. The victim was treated and recovered but infected family members who were not aware of the severity of his illness until the test results came back positive. His parents travel frequently, so infected at least five more victims, two of which died. Others who have come down with the plague are dismissing it as being the flu, until they see bloody patches under their skin. By then, it's too late. A number of people in the Northwest are getting the virus from rats their pet cats bring to them. The disease is spreading fast, affecting both cats and their owners. So, you're telling me there's no way to really know how many are infected? If the outbreak is occurring in the Northwest, why is the military bringing specimens here, to Atlanta, for testing? Miss, I can assure you that we have the situation well under control. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. Well, for our viewers out there, what do you recommend they do to be on the lookout for this dangerous disease? People need to stay calm, don't panic. Keep pets indoors and away from small animals. Keep your house and yard clean to keep from attracting rats. If you see pellets, set traps. Avoid handling dead animals, even if a pet drags them in. If any of these occur, and you start feeling sick, like with the flu, then go to the doctor and get checked out. If your pet starts acting strange take them to a vet clinic, or call animal control. A lot of viewers have been calling in with much different stories they get off the internet or by reading online newspapers. What advice do you have that can calm this hysteria? I think it would be best if people avoid getting information online. Not all information there can be trusted. They need to be aware of the causes and symptoms of the bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death, but they need to get their information from a reliable source such as the CDC website. I see. Thank you, Sergeant Dellard, for the update. If you want more information, you can go to the CDC website at www.cdc.gov or stay tuned to this station for more details. This is Janetta Jones reporting live for CBS Atlanta. Good night.